motherfucker. Well, what I'm gonna do is September. Come September, no. Just send me, send me the budget so I know how much I have to budget for that. For what? For the mics. They're about two hundred each. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> that's fine. That's bread, bro. No, but that's fine. Yeah, that's bread, though. That, no, but that's like, what I hate about t- it. but you told me ahead of time, like, yo, that's when God is cool. Like, if you just tell me, like, it's like, to somebody, like, you know, we're we'll spending a bunch of money, yo, and go buy $30 money yeah. right now. But, if, yeah, if you tell me, yo, that's the plan. Like, you give me, like, a date, like, yo, we're going to go buy them today, then I'll have that money done. Um, that's September, because September, we're trying to, so, after? I don't know, like, you September. tell me the specific date, like, yeah. yo, this is the day we're going to go buy the mic. So, let's say, let's say mid-September. All right. So, the but, like, yesterday? that's what I'm saying, like, we can have the mic model, have the, the store we're going to buy. Mic. No, no, um, Best Buy and, uh, the Yeti joint. So the Yeti joint, the reason it's 200 is because it comes with the, like the like the arm already, um, the little booster shit that holds it down, and the actual mic. So if anything, like, you gotta test that out. If we need a pop filter, I don't think so, but I guess we'll see. Uh, the only thing will be maybe, like, I don't because it's, so it's a bit. Yeah. So you gotta have to, like, screw it in yeah. to something so for it to be, like, Well, first thing you put so. the table right here and yeah. then screw it to the sides. Yeah. But yeah. I kind of want to have it as, out... We could do that for now. I'll probably buy like a little masita or some shit that we can just put in corners that I can just have it there so I can just have the setup done. Yeah, man. You just come here, connect just it to the laptop. Just move it when it's done. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, I know that's, what that's, that's the overall. Yeah, yeah, but you know, just let me know ahead of time. Like, yo, this is the day we're going. Mm-hmm. Bang. So basically what we're saying is that we're trying to upgrade our so, our thing here going on, you know? And this is the transition, right? Mm-hmm. We're having this discussion with George. George was watching Netflix. He was in about black holes. Mm-hmm. To the point that he got a little depressed about his life because he's like, uh, well, <laughs> I want to call it depression, but okay. He's like, this sucks. Everything's meaningless. Everything's pointless. We're so minuscule and so small. Yeah, we stress and we think that our lives matter, but they don't. And so I want to encourage every single one of you guys out there to let you know that your life does not matter as much as you think it does. And if you're offended, you miss the point because that means you're a half empty kind of person. Half full kind of person will say, thank you. That takes some weight off my shoulders. I don't have to be the hero. I don't have to play God. I don't have to pretend. I don't even have to be liked. I just have to live. Find joy and fulfillment in what I do. Find purpose and hopefully in doing those things, I'll live a legacy that matters. Well, that would that's actually perfectly said, except you just played us like a Japanese book, which they start from the back and you start from the front. Motherfucker, let's talk about it first. You know, let's have the discussion first. You know, you know before you, know, you bring the fucking no, conclusion you know, in. You know, in the FCAT, when they were like, oh, just, just this, this is a thesis statement. Yeah, yeah, no, motherfucker, we gotta talk about this. All right, so let me give you a little uh, premise of what we're talking about. So I'm watching a, a Netflix special about black holes, right? And you know, as I'm watching this, I'm as I'm watching this thing, um and we have previous conversations about like aliens and all that stuff. And as I'm watching this shit, you know, it's so much bigger than life. You know what I mean? Like it was talking about galaxies and mm-hmm. universes and all this type of shit that's like, whoa, what the fuck, right? So I, I go to Kurt, I'm like, yo, I'm over here like thinking about like, you know, the future and you know, we're thinking about worldly shit, right? Like possessions and like finance and all this shit. Which I, you know, it's important, but when you're looking at this shit, it's like it's really insignificant. Yeah. Cause like you said, like we're gonna eventually die. And if you didn't get to spend your money, then somebody else is going to spend your money for you. You get me? Whether that's your kids or wh- whatever. You get me? Or the government. Or the <laughs> government, right. Somebody's going to spend whatever the fuck you built for you anyways. You know what I mean? So I- I'm starting looking at it like, damn, like, it- it's true that like, a lot of the shit that we try to put like our value and our time in doesn't really fucking matter. It's worse. We are so small. Like, I see so many people like struggling, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm trying to like build my career up. I'm trying to like do this. I'm trying to do that. And I understand, like, the whole goal-setting shit or whatever, but I don't know, when I look at shit like that, though, I was like, damn, like, we really are insignificant yeah. in this world. And then you said, you hit me with, like, the whole Bible verse about, like, you know, you just eat good food, drink good wine. You said good wine yeah. or drink wine? Yeah, well, good, good drink, but he means wine, right? Right. So it's good, good food, good drink wine, and then love God. And love God, right. That's what it's all about. And, then, you know, when you put it down like that, it's like, yo, it, that's that, but that is what life is. Yeah. Like, everybody's trying to work and, and like have you know or be rich or whatever, so they can technically do whatever they want to do. That's really like the premise of everything. Everything is like, yo, I just want to be able to do what I want to do. I don't want to uh-huh. have to do yeah. something. You know what I mean? So everybody's really working for that. Yeah, you know I mean? like just to enjoy their life. But it's it's true though. Like a lot of people kind of lose themselves and don't ever get to enjoy life because they're so busy trying to do the one thing yeah. that's keeping them from, I guess, like the overall goal. You know what I mean? And the overall goal is to do whatever I want. But you don't ever get to do whatever you want because you're killing yourself working. Yeah, because it's, it's like, and, and we talk about it all the time. It's like it's awesome to have goals. Just know that when you get to that mountain peak, 
You're gonna look up and there's gonna be a bigger mountain. Yeah. And then you're gonna say, fine, I'm gonna get to that mountain peak, and then I'm gonna get to that mountain peak. And so then by the time you you know you arrive to wherever quote unquote you wanted to arrive, you may have lost and missed out on your own life. Right? You know, we, we see it all the time in the cliche of, of uh, working parents that miss out on the kids' yeah. lives and they regret it and they wish they would have worked as much, right? Mm-hmm. Or or kids that were so focused on things that didn't matter, that they didn't appreciate the people that really care for them. We see those cliches all the time. And it's because if we have to have a balance. We're just saying that's before too. Mm-hmm. Is there has to be a balance that I have to steward what I have as if I'm going to live 100 years, but enjoy it in a balanced way like if I'm going to die today. And, and obviously, that's not, you know, so black and white for everybody. We all have different, you know, enjoyments, different plans, right? Especially if you have children, you're definitely planning more than 100 years. You're planning about their kids, their kids, their kids, yeah. right? But the goal is, you know, there has to be some, you know, enjoyment in what I do. Or if I don't have enjoyment in my job, fine, that pays the bills. But I find enjoyment in something else. Yeah. Because if I'm just going, going, going to eventually find enjoyment, yeah. I'm going to throw away 40, 50 years, precious years, mm-hmm. That I might not get back just so I can retire and uh, then enjoy my life. Yeah, you, that you won't get back for sure. And, and so, I, no, what you said though, and I'm sorry to cut you off, but what you said right there is like very, very key and important, right? So like, there are people who like, you know, they have their jobs that they hate their jobs or whatever. But like, if if that's your whole life, like if your cycle is, I'm gonna wake up, go to this job I hate, come home, watch TV, go to sleep, and then wake up and then do the same shit all over again, and on the weekends. Um, you might like not really enjoy going out with friends or not nothing because you're like so depressed or whatever throughout the day. Well, then yeah, you're you're fucking up. Like, you know, like you're not really like living out your life. You know what I mean? Like even if you hate your job for whatever reason, you need to make time to fi- to figure out the things that you love doing mm-hmm. and do those things. You know what I mean? Because again, th- this isn't like a s- end all be all kind of advice. I'm not giving you like a financial. I'm not giving you financial advice or job advice. I'm talking about just your life in general. You get me? Mm-hmm. So don't take it as like a oh, okay. You mm-hmm. know. This is just like in general, you do need to enjoy your life in general. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, you need to do some shit that you like. I mean, if you like to skateboard, you like to surf, that's, that's what the fuck you need to be doing, you know, on your spare time at least. You know what I mean? Like, at least. Do something that you would yeah. do even if nobody paid you. Yeah, exactly. That yeah, is what go. You know, like, think about it. Right, let me give you an analogy, right? Farmers, right? A farmer works pretty much the whole year. All right, because he has to work for the harvest, right? He has to plant the seed, blah, 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 water it, take care of it, da, 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 da. And then the harvest comes. The harvest, it, people say, oh, I say you got your fruit. The harvest is still work because he has to harvest the fruit. He yeah. has to come by every tree or come by every crop and take that out. But in the moment, there is a fulfillment of all the sacrifice. You get me? The same thing has to be with us. Like, if we're killing ourselves, if we're working hard, if we're aiming at something, you know, don't quit. We all say we're the proponents of grinding, right? Yeah. We believe in grinding, really working hard and saying I'm down for what you're passionate about. But there has to be a point that you look at and say, wow, I get to enjoy my strawberry, quote unquote, or my yeah, yeah. apple, whatever you plant it. Yeah. You know, because if you don't get to enjoy it, you literally enslaved yourself to somebody else's life because they'll enjoy it for you. Mm-hmm. And that sucks. And that is unfair and that is pointless. You know, that's where Solomon goes, you know, it's all vanity. It's all pointless. Yeah. You know, the whole social media thing, we need social media and we love social media because, I mean, think about it, we're doing this, right? Mm-hmm. But, that is not going to be the end all be all, right? There's black holes out there. There's probably aliens. We, we're about to rush into Roswell right now. Yeah. So, why are we really and stressing? The down. Oh, and the upside down world, the third season of, you know, Demogorgons and whatnot and that. I have what? no idea. I just know that those are the things of... What's the show called? Stranger, Stranger things. things. Right? So... <laughs> and all those things, right? And, and you know... And, and there's so much in life, right? And I was going to tell the George, like, think about the statistics right now. There's over 7 billion people in the world. You're one person. You're insignificant, statistically speaking. Yeah. Now, think about the history of the world. Thousands of years of populations. You are so insignificant. Right, even the most important people in history, good or bad, right? Name of MLK or Adolf Hitler. We talk about them now, and we either take a day off for one, or we despise and talk about the other, right? But they're just in their grave. They don't care, or they cannot care about what we're honoring or dishonoring them because they're dead. Very true. They live lives that are purposeful. We're always about that living purpose, yeah. right? But 
somewhere along the line, it's going to be you and me. We're going to be a gravestone. We're going to be a, in a graveyard stuck deep. And our generations are going to forget we ever existed. Why are we going to kill ourselves? Enjoy your life. Exactly. short. Yeah, man. You know, and, and just like you said, like spe- speaking about short, right? There's this um, there's this big uh thing that blew up uh this week. I don't know if you saw about the little guy. You saw a little guy who snapped in, in Jersey, like snapping out a bunch of girls in like a bakery or whatever. No. Okay. So speaking about short and enjoying life, right? That's a very good segue. Yes, a perfect segue. So there, there's this guy, right? Who he's about five feet tall, and I, I again. Is he an adult or like a kid? He's an adult. This is a grown, a grown ass man. This guy's like 40, 50 something years old. So he, um, I, I don't know the whole context of the situation, right? I mean, somebody just pulled out their phone, like, almost last minute when this guy was already snapping. And this guy's, like, in the, in the store, whatever. he's, like, yelling, angry, talking about, like, yo, um, you know, you women, you women, uh, treat me like shit. You, you have me, uh, go out, take you out on dates, and I waste money on you, and then you tell me that, that, um... Then you tell me that, oh, no, I'm too short. Like, we're the same <laughs> fucking height. And, like, yo, this guy was snapping. For real? Snapping. But was it directed at people or he was just ranting? Yo, he was snap. Yo, if I could pull this up. Right but now. was he directing at some girl there? Yo, can you pull that up for me? Can you pull that up for me? Uh, that video? Yeah. Uh, search producer, search producer. on YouTube. Look, yeah, that's a producer right there. <laughs> Look, search on YouTube. Uh, uh, small guy snaps in bakery. I don't know. In YouTube. you probably find some shit. So while she does that, right? So the guy's snapping or whatever, right? And like the like basically the the overall is like yo. So this dude is like mad and secure, right? There's a viral video going Look. around on the internet right now that really struck a chord. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Where am I in this Let me see. Yeah, it's out. Yeah, exactly. Double tap. Embarrassing on this guy's part that it made uh, me feel small. Double tap. Watching this video made to take a shit and I looked at me. Should be dead? Yes. To take a shit and I looked at myself in the mirror that I was like, God damn, wait, I'm short too. Why is that okay? Why is it okay for women to say, oh, you're five feet on dating sites? You should be dead? That's okay? You should be so dead? Really 
Yeah. You talk about short tempered, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 so this guy, all right, so you see, so this guy spazzes out. Like, I'm talking about, like, bad, 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 right? And, like, I don't know. So I'm watching this. I'm watching uh, Charlemagne get a dunk of the day, mm-hmm. whatever. You know, and I, I, I can relate, right? So you know me, right? I'm at least, like, uh, five two, five three. When you wear shoes? Nah, I mean, let's be honest. Like realistically, I'm like, like five six, five seven. Nah, cause cause so here's the thing. Um, on on no, normally I'm like what five eleven, six one <laughs> usually. Yeah, there, there's just days that like my knees wake up a little bit sore and I'm a little shorter. So I'm like, so, yeah, that's most days. So like usually I'm around like five five. <laughs> Between like Monday and Sunday, I'm like five five. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I'm about like five five, and you know so. But I've I've never felt like the like like the real need, right? Yeah. Instead of me talking shit, the real need of like. Nah, I can't. I have to be so angry at like a girl. Cause nah, like you only want tall guys. It's like yo. So this guy is blowing like I guess like this whole thing out of proportion in the sense of like yo, women only want tall guys or whatever. So this guy's it's just insecurity, right? Which is like one more thing that I feel like we add on as humans to our life that are that's insignificant. You know what I mean? In the same realm, it's like, like yo, when it comes down to like all of the the dumb shit that we're insecure about. It's all about what other people also think about. And there's also things that prevent us from living our yeah, life. Yeah, it, it you know drains I mean? your energy. Yeah, like, like, look, think about it like this. But, but, side note, before I mess up your time. Uh-huh. Yo, hormones and food is a thing. Because these sure. girls nowadays... For sure. Yo, last time, most well, of these girls nowadays, I wouldn't date. I'd be like, yo, I'll catch you in the post. Cross yeah, me, I'll yeah, yeah. cross you over, put you in the post. Because these girls are top. Well, both. Guys and girls. Yo, yo, guys are getting used too, but... No, they guys that have full-grown beards, and they're like in the sixth grade. Yeah. And they have a beard bigger than mine. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? What is on? your secret? Oh, no, I'm just growing. I, I'm just growing. <laughs> no, another secret. You need steroids. That's what you're doing. So, but, but point yeah. blank here is that, you know, there's people that will not go to the pool because they're overweight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's people that, that will miss out on parties and events because they don't feel like they're pretty enough. Mm-hmm. And they don't want to be... You know what I mean? Like... That's another example, you know what I mean, of people fucking wasting their time, you know what I mean, like, their energy, like you said, on shit that really yeah. doesn't fucking matter. Because, again, like you said, there's 7 billion people in this world. There is, there's very little things, you know what I'm saying? Literally, there are very little yeah. short things in this world that's insignificant <laughs> at this point. Like, I don't, I, I just, I, I, again. I, I tell you, look. Like, wow, wow. It, it's just that culturally, we're, right. we're very selfish, like, that's the fact. So we assume and we act that the world really does revolve around like like we act like what I do will really drastically affect everybody. Yeah, well yeah. in the end in the end it's only gonna affect me most of the time. Like I'm choosing most part, I'm right? choosing to be bitter or yeah. I'm choosing to be angry or I'm choosing is it like his height and then I guarantee he's like like three feet tall. That yeah. she didn't make it work. Right, yeah. but he got so fed up. There's a bunch of little yeah. people, I'm sure. He got so fed up, he just couldn't handle it. You know, like, yo, I want to know what caused the blow, though. Like, I, I, I honestly want to know what, yo. like, did somebody say something? Because he said, oh, they all give me the same thing. They mm. they give me the smirk with the bite lip, which is the, yeah, like, the, uh, mm, mm, like, the, mm, mm. so I don't, I don't know. Yo, but buddy blew the fuck up. He was not having it. Yeah, right. And he had, like, a seven-foot giant <laughs> tackle him to the ground. Yo, I, I, guarantee, I, the I guarantee that, that guy, the other guy was probably, like, five eight. He says, this guy's so short. He yo, that so guy's so huge. Yeah. That guy's like huge compared to him. I was like, yo. And my other question is, why you gotta tackle him and like throw him on top of him? Could you just push him off? Yeah, he, he did attack him. I'm like, oh, he probably didn't fight though. Or maybe he's a wrestler. Yeah, but maybe you just push him off. He maybe threw the guy was a wrestler. He was like, uh, yeah, that is. Maybe the guy was a wrestler. I don't know. But yo, that shit was wild. <laughs> so I mean, like, yo, that. That whole thing, I think, cor- correlates in, in a way. In a way, but I, I need to bring that up because yo, that, that that when I saw this week, I was like, "Yo, this guy is wild." So I saw it initially on Instagram. I'm like, "Okay," like I kind of ignored it. Mm-hmm. Then Charlemagne went ahead. Think and, about it. Yeah, Charlemagne came back in the day and he put the full clip out. So no, but the the best part is this ending. Okay, so, it could go on. Yeah. So. Uh, this guy um, ends up like being on the news, like on the news, like I'm talking about like uh, like those personalities that go out, you know, and, like interview. They interviewed him. Yeah. So the lady's asking him, like, oh, like you know, so why'd you blow up? He's like, oh, you know, um, I'm just tired of like you know women like taking me for advantage or whatever, like taking me for granted. Like I'll go take him out on a date and we'll go, and then they'll be like, oh, um, no, you're just too short for me or or whatever. So the free meal. Exactly, and that's exactly what we're talking about we last that. time. We need, we need app. that app. I'm coming soon. We need that. Hey, listen, if you're watching this and you're and you're an app builder, a developer, a developer, whatever, 
programmer or something, you know? Yeah, something like that. You know, and you want to partner up, hit us up. You know what I mean? Let me know. This could be the future. Yeah, man, because I want to know, because we can build this. We got a solid idea here, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because this guy would have been on that for sure. This guy definitely would be on our app so for sure. Everybody who's insecure and knows if it's not going to be like for themselves, this app is for them, which is perfect. basically for 7 billion people right in this exactly. world. Exactly. Yo, this app is perfect. It's better than Grindr. It's better than Tinder. It's better. It's just, yeah, it's just better. It's just better. It's as sure as... Yo, like, it, it's, it's safe. Look, if the girls want to take you out for the... for the, If the girls want to play you on the whole, you know... Yeah. I'm gonna get my free meal stuff. It's okay. You will be compensated. You <laughs> don't. You got and, no and worries. And if it works out, it works out. Exactly. So you if make, it's real. You, know you make saying? a memory. You make a life. Because relationship. Because like, the thing is that you're weaving out yeah. the people who are players. And the gold diggers. Yeah, like the gold diggers ain't gonna go here. Cause like what? I'm about yeah. to pay. Unless it's credit card scammers. That's yeah. another thing. <laughs> but we'll get there when we get there. Yeah, we're not there yet. The point is that you're gonna get your money. But the point you know is, what I mean? you're gonna find people who are. Purely here exactly. to try to find love. We're just weaving out the scam. Yeah. That's we're, we're doing, doing your favor. We believe in love. Wait, what? That's corny. Literally, <laughs> that's corny. No, but, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta put the app I here. got you. Yeah. Okay, okay. So point point here is that buddy starts talking to the girl, and then at one point he just he just like you know what? And I don't really like you very much. This interview's over. This is done. <laughs> like yo, this guy is just angry, like angry little guy. And the thing is like yo. Again, you continuously live your life with this anger. That's not good for you. You need to go out and do things that you like. You know what I'm saying? Things that make you happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, if if they decide to remake a Willy Wonka movie, you're perfect for the role. You know what I'm saying? Like, that that right there. Think about the positives. Exactly. You got to think about the positives. Like, you know what I'm saying? The stuff, the stuff that you can do. Like, think about how much money you save on clothes, bro. Think about that shit, bro. You can still wear kids' clothes yeah, to this day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta always look at the bright side of things. A kid's meal, you get full. Because you're, you know, you're yeah. a small body. Yeah. The guy is no more than a size six. You know what I'm saying? All the fear gods, yeah, all the sneaker releases. Yeah, man. You gotta you follow the low. All the kids. Follow the kids. Hey, you don't even have to make a line. You just exactly. go. Exactly. GS. GS everything. That's, yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. To me, you just gotta look at the bright side of things. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about it. He, pro- he could probably wear like an XL in kids. You know what I'm saying? No, that'd be too big. That'd be too big. An XL in kids? That'd be too big. That guy's kind of big guy, man. 16, 18. 16, 18. Okay, fine. 16, 18. Nah, nah, bro. That's large, bro. Don't play me, bro. That's large. Yeah. Bro. Large? Yeah, that guy's like this small. Yeah, that guy's a gut, bro. What are you going to have? A, have this, nah, bro. That's not it, bro. That's not it. Charlie's like, extra large in kids? That's fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? You'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? You just got to look, yeah. look at the brighter side. I think it's, and at the end of the day, like you're saying, you just always got to look at the brighter side of things. Because life is just that. You know what I'm saying? It's going to eat good, drink good, chill with people. You say, love God. If you bought that life, you bought that life. That's, 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 all, really that's all it really is. Yeah. That's all it really is. When it's all said and done, and you can lay down on your gravestone and just say, you know what? I learned, I lived, I lost some, I won some. Of course. But I... You know, I enjoyed life overall. Because you don't want to look back and have more regrets than you have triumphs or joys, you know? Mm-hmm. Because if you do, then you missed out on the purpose of life. Exactly. I mean, and, and if, if you really look at it like this, this guy is probably um, very, very perfect to go in uh, and um, enrage for the Area 51. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. Transition is <laughs> next episode. <laughs> Listen, when you're that small <laughs> and you're that angry... Who's gonna get you, my guy? Who? Who's shooting you? Ain't nobody shooting a kid. Nobody's gonna do that. <laughs> Yo, you're perfect for it, bro. So listen. First of all, it's not they're not shooting him. They can't, <laughs> man. You can't hit him. He's just small. <laughs> so listen, man. Our next episode, we definitely gonna talk about that. Cause right now I'm getting hot as fuck, man. It's so fucking hot in here right now. I'm sweating. So man, look, man. If you like this episode, if you think we're dumb, if you think we're right, if you think we're uh, Wrong. Yeah, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know how this, I'm down. We thank you guys for your support, for your love.